Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another Ben 10 Ultimate Alien Reacts for you guys. This is a Season 2, Episode 5. Of course, I will not know the title until I get into the episode. We're kind of in a drought right now. The start of this season, it's not been that great in terms of these episodes. They've not been bad, necessarily, but some have been, and others still, but they're a little better. Like, last week's episode with Dr. Victor and everything, and then tying in this whole, like thing with the king and prince and shit i'm like i was interested with like dr victor showing up and like having basically victor frankenstein like having the monster there and everything and like oh, okay cool and then they had a wild mutt cameo and then heat blast is back all of a sudden like there were some moments but i'm like the hell is this story though like what's going on here because i've seen how great ben 10 can be so i don't know what's going on here necessarily people have been commenting because i made a point to comment saying yeah, like, you, the viewership has definitely dropped on these reactions, and it seems like a lot of people are not as interested in these episodes, and it makes a lot of sense why. But some people are commenting saying, just trust me, just wait, like, you just gotta get through this, and trust me, it'll be worth it. So, <laughs> it is what it is, but um, we'll see what happens in this episode. Hopefully, it'll be interesting, or at least somewhat entertaining, because I feel like, even though the episodes have not been great, they've been at least somewhat entertaining for different reasons or whatever at least they're not like completely boring because that's the thing i've not at least in my opinion come across a boring episode of ben 10 so far out of all three shows so far in this continuity in this franchise but i'm hoping we don't get to that point i really hope not but we'll see what happens let's jump to now guys let's check out this episode let's go oh oh shit Don't you remember your favorite cousin? Hmm? Hello, boys. I'm Sunny. Girl trouble? Oh, boy. Okay. Hi. I'm your cousin, Ben. What do you do around here for fun, Kevin? Mm. He hangs out with his girlfriend, Gwen. The cousin's taken up with a bad crowd, so her parents asked us to keep Of course she has. They think oh, he'll be boy. a good influence on her. Where are we going again? Shopping? Maybe the robots can only open a new dimensional portal every couple of hours. If we can, I thought with this shot next to each other, Antonio, their faces are pretty much and identical. Muscles. Do you ever say romantic things to Gwen? Oh, one time he stared deep into her eyes and she said, What? And he said, You've got an eye booger. She's a boring goody goody who never does anything fun, right? Oh shit. Decker <laughs> in the face. Ready? Get out of the car. That's a relief. For a second there, I thought she was talking about me. Jackpot, kill the robots. Kill the robots. Four arms. <laughs> nice. Okay. All right. <laughs> she really is. Oh, okay. Wait a minute! What the fuck? Okay, I'm glad this was revealed. Even though it's like, what? Because I'm like, really, we're gonna have a cousin? And there's, something's gonna go wrong? Okay, let's see where they go with this. Our cousin Sunny <laughs> is an anodyte. Yep. How come you can't do that? Because, shut up, you didn't know? Do you think she'd be here if your father had told me ahead of time? Mm. They were stealing oil? What do you see in her muscles? She's so good. Muscles? I mean, wouldn't you have more fun with a wild girl? I already have an awesome boyfriend. His name is Antonio. And he We've heard this before. with Antonio already. Antonio! Sonny! A token of a love what the so fuck is going on? That no force in the universe. Is that tree from the backyard? No. No. That's my swing. Shit, dude. I love you, Antonio. Our love will never die, sweet Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> what is this episode? <laughs> the robots are back. Make a decision. They're just like showing up at random places, but there must be a reason why. Ooh. Interesting. Just, they just stood there going. <laughs> Maybe here comes more. This is okay. 
Of course, she's more powerful nope. than Gwen, which isn't nope. fair, but whatever. Nope. <laughs> Cousin would make a great member of the. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No, don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> it's in the back where they came from. Cut it out. That's creepy, but. <laughs> This planet can make me do anything. I'm telling your mom and dad. No! Damn. Go ultimate. Come on, Ben. Maybe I'll just take it. Of course. Kevin, shut down the particle accelerator. <laughs> Kevin, disarm Kevin. the fusion bomb. <laughs> Why does it go ultimate though? I don't understand. Are you kidding me? What? Ben should be able to kick this guy's ass, I would think. Now he goes ultimate. I was like, come on, dude, you should have done this earlier. Okay, oh, come on. Surprise! Random, but okay. Just as easy as they showed up, they leave. Very clever of you to call me through the mana field. You must be getting bored with humanity by now. We've had this discussion, Grandma. And there you have it, guys. And yes, I was reacting to some moments and was somewhat entertained. But once again, it's another episode that just... <sighs> now, here's what I will say, though, in terms of a positive. Then we'll talk about, just in general, the episode is the idea that there's another anodyte, which is Sonny, her cousin, which also is voiced by Ashley Johnson, because Ashley Johnson does the voice of Gwen in this series, and she voiced Sonny, the cousin, who is actually an anodyte, and stripped her skin off and everything, and she's even more powerful than Gwen. However, Gwen outsmarted her and called Grandma, and Grandma, of course, is anodyte as well, and all that, and of course, a little discussion about, you know, are you tired of humanity yet, Gwen? Gwen's like, we've already had this discussion, like, we'll have it again, too! Like, she's all excited to talk about it again. Because she wants Gwen to become an anodyte and not be a human anymore. Um, so the idea of, like, okay, there's another cousin in the mix, another family member of the Ben 10, you know, you know, Ben Gwen thing. Sunny, like, it's interesting, but, of course, she's a brat. She's dating some, I don't even know this Antonio, I don't even know. Like, I don't know. It was just like, so, it, it felt like to me, they created a they created a thing to where okay, we're gonna have Sunny the the cousin who looks pretty much identical to Gwen in a sense, except for a few minor things. But it's also voiced by the same voice actor who's doing Gwen is also voicing Sunny, so the voices are similar in a sense as well. We're gonna have them fight at one point. We're gonna reveal that she's an anti, which that was a cool reveal. Then it's kind of got you know the way it is. The kind of <laughs> went the direction it did. But we also need to have Antonio be some really, like, just big alien guy so that Ben could fight him. And then we're going to have this bomb that Kevin's going to take care of. So that'll be the episode. Because the 12th Dimension robots, they're just kind of there to show, oh, here's a bunch of just faceless, just bunch of bodies that can be destroyed by the team, you know, and then have Sunny go in and destroy a lot more because she's an anti and she's crazy and everything. And she can just, wow, this is so much fun. It just, you know, it was another episode that was just like, eh, I'm ready, I'm ready to get to some good episodes. I'm not saying these are bad, but I need good episodes to Ben 10 again. I need it in my life. I need it. Because I really enjoy this franchise. And I think maybe I'm giving these episodes more of a pass because it's Ben 10, but I've seen how good these episodes and these shows can be. And right now, they're just kind of swinging and a miss. The last couple of weeks, swing and a miss. There are some things, like I was mentioning here at towards the beginning of this review, that I think were interesting. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Okay, okay. But I was definitely like, ah, wait, did we need this episode? No. Did it further along some things in terms of there's another cousin, she's an anodite as well, 
and she's more powerful than Gwen, but it's showing that Gwen is coming along in her training because she did reach out to her grandma and everything. So it all worked out at the end because I'm like, how are they going to stop her if she's stronger than Gwen and there's a way out? Obviously, with it, with her grandmother being an anodite, it works out. But still, it's like, do we need this episode? No. No, we didn't really need it. We got to see Gwen's mom. There's something there, too. Like, oh, we got to see mom. Where's the dad? Who the fuck knows? Who knows? So overall, um... Yeah, this episode was just kind of strange. Also, Ben turning into Lodestar was also like uh, interesting. And him not going ultimate humongous or against Antonio until like later in the fight, which is kind of dumb because like he should have done that earlier, but he didn't because Ben doesn't think things through really. He doesn't really think things through much, does he? No, he does not. That's, that's, but that's been, that is Ben for you, though. That is Ben for you in a nutshell. Ben just doesn't think things through a lot of the times. So yeah, so overall, episode wasn't terrible, but wasn't really necessary, and it could have been something else entirely here. They could have done something more interesting, in my opinion. They could have also took the concept they did here with Sonny, the cousin, and did, some, did something more interesting with it, because maybe Sonny is pretending to be this kooky crazy cousin or just like doesn't give a shit and treating Gwen like crap because she of course she's trying to flirt with Kevin they could have had it to where she's actually just playing it up and then eventually she reveals that she's actually there to try to recruit Gwen to become an anodite and to go you know and leave earth and go with her back to where you know she where she is or whatever like where she's living and her grandma and everything like they could have found like another angle like that they could have just or maybe maybe the cousin isn't like you know, I don't give a shit in jobs. I'm, not, I'm an anti. Oh, crazy funny. You could have done something else with the cousin angle. Something maybe more interesting in my opinion than what they did. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a writer. I'm not, I'm not a storyteller necessarily. I try, I've tried to tell stories. So maybe my ideas would have been worse or maybe not received as well or, or worse than what this is received. So who knows? But, you know, I think there's other ways they could have went, but. I'm going to go. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I feel like I'm just rambling at this point about this, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. What you think of the episode? I'm curious to know your thoughts, guys, whatever thoughts you have, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully next week is better. Hopefully. Anyways, talk to you guys soon. Peace out.